The Federal Reserve might increase their interest rates more quickly than the European Central Bank. What does that show? That's going to be the topic of today's video. Hi everyone, so before talking about this video, don't hesitate to go to adamfire.com, especially if you're an expat or a high net wealth individual. Now, on today's video, I'm gonna talk about the Federal Reserve. Now, it seems like they're gonna increase their interest rates more quickly than the European Central Bank, the Japanese, and also the British Central Banks. Now, what does this show? Now, number one, it increases the chance that the US dollar is gonna go up versus other major currencies. We can't know for sure, but last time what happened is if we go back to 2008, 2009, the US uh, currency, the USD, got weaker um, in 2009, 2010 after going up during the financial crisis. But then as the US actually tightened more quickly, um, the dollar kept going up gradually over time, and especially by like 2018, 2019, when the US increased interest rates, we saw a big increase in the US dollar, especially against some currencies. So if that happens again, and interest rates are back at two or 3%, you would expect the US dollar to be stronger than some of our major currencies. But we can never really know, because look at 2008 and 2009, when the US was stimulating like crazy, lowering their interest rates aggressively, people expected the US dollar to absolutely fall you know, in a big way compared to most currencies. It actually didn't happen, so we can't know. But linked to that, a lot of people are saying, well, if you can suddenly get 2.5% or 3% in the bank in say 2022, 2023, could that affect stock markets? And personally, um, I think interest rates would have to go up higher than that. Now, yes, if interest rates go up from 0% to 2.5%, you could see more people go away from bonds and towards cash. You could see some people take a little bit of risk off the table. Clearly, if interest rates stay at 0% for longer, that's good for the stock market. As Warren Buffett says, in a way, interest rates to the stock market are like blood or oxygen to the human body, right? If firms can uh, borrow money at close to 0% and they can invest, they're gonna make more money than if uh, it's a 3% or 2.5%. But at the end of the day, two or 3% interest rates is not like 5%, Never mind 10% interest rates. So the stock market can do well in all of those circumstances, even in the 80s and 90s when interest rates were higher, the stock market did very well in those periods. So I think it's nothing to worry about. Obviously, there's always gonna be upturns and downturns in the stock market, but that's perfectly natural. I also wouldn't speculate on currencies because at the end of the day, the euro can't go up against the US dollar at the same time as the US dollar goes up against the euro. So a currency is not an investment. Stick to investments, don't try to invest in currencies. That is one of the key things that people forget. It's a bit like if you buy the S&P 500 in the US dollar or the euro or the pound, you'll get the same return in a common currency because you're not investing in the currency, you're investing in the underlying asset. How can I help you in two ways? First of all, are you an expat, a high net wealth individual, or just somebody who lives in a part of the world where it's difficult to get access to quality investment solutions? In which case, go onto my website on adamfire.com and find out more. If you don't fit into any of those categories, then in which case there's a range of free material on my website, on this YouTube channel, and indeed on my Quora, where I get over 200 or have received over 231 million views uh, in the last few years. And finally, if you want to uh, actually read my thoughts in more detail, go onto Amazon and find my book on there.